ladies and gentlemen, Paul McGrath. You prepare and you go and you do your best. You put on the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Absolutely. Martin, just as we were watching that wonderful piece of tape with all those great memories of Paul McGrath, you, you told me the most fantastic story about how, no, how long you know Paul McGrath. Well, it's not so much how long I've known him in that sense, because, uh, but uh, way back years and years ago, when I was supposedly flying high with Nottingham Forest, I came over to make an award for a young kid coming through uh, in Dublin here. And I remember him saying, and I, I give the award, he had won a Player of the Year or something like this, but I give the award and I said to him, uh, what do you fancy doing? He said, I want to be a professional player. I said, oh, that's great. Of course, I'm going to dismiss it. And I said, well, where are you heading? He said, well, I'm going to Manchester United. <laughs> so I thought I'll just keep an eye on him, never thinking for one minute they'd make the grade because you see this so often. Yeah. And of course, as years roll on and I went down the ways and this fella rose to the top, do you know what? It's a genuine pleasure here tonight for me. Genuine pleasure, honestly, because you're one of the greats. Well done indeed. Fantastic. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Our latest inductee into the RTE Sports Hall of Fame. Um, what, what does that mean to you? Um, um, hard to describe, really, to be honest. Uh, you know, when you think of the people who've gone before and won this award, um, and now you can class yourself as being one of them, it's, it's humbling. Yeah. We, we mentioned your club career, but the Republic of Ireland and what, 83 caps for your country, I, is, it possible, is it possible for you to pick out one game or one performance that you treasure more than anything else? Um, I, I suppose most people would uh, say Giant Stadium, but uh, for me it was um, uh, 1990, the, the World Cup and the, probably the game that we lost um, in Rome against it, the Italians because I think if we'd have pushed ourselves a little harder we might have, we might have even won that game as well, except yeah. for the referee. The referee <laughs> he was cruel, he was cruel. But it was a great... Uh, that the, the first World Cup I think that Ireland played in was my uh, pinnacle in football. Well, it's about time you're in our Hall of Fame and you're in it now, Paul. Martin O'Neill yeah. and Paul McGrath.